Hi, this is Kanu Babu. This is part 28 of Trial Based Project. So, in the last session, we have discussed something like customer will try to what? Select the bus ticket and then automatically we have to count the number of tickets that are selected. We already discussed in the last video. So, now whenever the customer will try to select the seats, like here, customer is trying to select the seats, I want to generate the controls dynamically. So, here let us see, for example, if the customer is trying to select the three tickets, then click on this button 1, then it has to generate the controls dynamically. For that, what is my requirement? Let us see here. So, here initially, I will try to write, initially I will try to design my page here, if you observe clearly, this is, this entire total design I have done inside one table and then uh, later I have taken one more table, in the table I have taken one placeholder control. Placeholder control is generally used for dynamically creating controls. Whenever you are creating any controls dynamically, you have to keep all the dynamic creation controls inside placeholder. And uh, outside this uh, table, I have taken two buttons, button 1 and button 2. For this button 1, I have given the text as click me after selecting the seat. And uh, button 2, I have given the text as book ticket. Now here, double click. Here you just go to your uh, uh, view code and here you, I will try to write one method separately. Here I will try to write my own method, something like this, I will declare one method, private, void, the name of the method I will give as dynamic text box, I want to create the text box dynamically, bracket open, bracket close, so as we already discussed that generally in ASP.NET every control is a predefined class, label is a class, checkbox is a class, radio button is a class, text box is a class, whenever you try to drag and drop the control from the toolbox, then internally objects are created for each and every particular class. So, generally if you want to generate the controls dynamically, we need to create the objects manually. So, I will try to create the control text box tb is equals to new text box of. Here I am trying to creating the text box. And we already know that text box are having uh, properties are there. I want to set the id for the text box tb.id is equals to something like here I will give txt1. And here I will try to give the text for the text box tb what text, I want to give as some text, something like C number, some customer number, something like that. And I want to add this text box to the placeholder. So, here I will try to write placeholder one dot controls dot add off. Right, part number 26, I strongly recommend to watch part number 26 to understand that how to generate the text uh, controls dynamically. Placeholder uh, one dot controls dot add off, here I will try to mention what the control id that is tb and I am adding this text box object to this placeholder. Is it clear? So, let's uh, here I want to call this control. If you want you can just you can see I want to call that method a dynamic text box method within button 1 underscore click. Here I will try to call dynamic text box. Just you see in order to show you. So, debug and check the output here. So, here you see whenever user clicks on button 1 then automatically a text box is created and the id is created and uh, the text is also created for the text box. Is it clear? But what is my requirement means, I want to create what? Uh, nearly 5 text boxes where all the text box ids are what? Different. Something like that. Initially I want to create these 5 text boxes. For that what I want to do means, initially, is it clear? And here, uh, initially I will try to declare one more method here. And before that, uh, here I will try to declare one variable, something like this. Here I will try to declare one variable, some string array I will declare, string s is equals to, uh, or I will try to use generix here. So, here I already have a namespace called using system.collections.generix. And here I will try to declare the uh, list collection, so list. And here I will try to mention the data type is string. And uh, the name I will give as control id, some ids I will give, control ids or uh, um, ok, I will give control ids is equals to uh, new list string of. So, I want to create one generic collection and here I will try to declare one variable, something like into count, initially count is 0 and here what I want to do, here I will try to um, something like, I will try to uh, I will try to create an object, otherwise I will try to create an object for this particular generic collection within the page load. Within the page load I will try to create the 
object control ids here i will try to give control ids is equals to new list string of and here i will try to store this uh, object in the view state as you already know that in asp.net we cannot maintain the state of the controls so here i will try to write view state of um, variable name the variable name will give us control ids is equals to the object name that is control ids i will explain you what is the purpose of that now here what i will do means for my dynamic text box here i already have my dynamic text box for this dynamic text box what i will try to do means i will try to pass one um, i want to give the unique ids for all the text boxes so here i will try to use my count variable i will increment the count something like this count plus plus i will increment the count and then uh, i will try to give the id for my text box as here you see sorry i have to write this code inside where um this uh, create dynamic text box i think it is there on the top so here you see i have dynamic text box here i want to increment the count variable and then what i want to do here is i want to give the id for the text box as something like this i'll give the id text box plus count text box plus count because i want to generate what um uh, unique ids for each and every text box and later i will try to add this text box ids to my uh, list collection generic collection so control ids dot add off there is one predefined method called add method how to add the items in the collections or generics by using add method so control ids dot add off here what is my id of the text box tv dot id tv dot id all the text box ids i am trying to add to my what here this uh, collection so here you see if you want if you uh, if, if you want you can observe here i will try to debug and check the output here so that you will understand actually in asp.net there is some problem i will try to explain as we already discussed that asp.net is a stateless technology which will not maintain the state of the response here in order to maintain the whenever you try to create the dynamic controls you need to maintain the state manually otherwise the state will not be maintained so for that what i will try to do here i as well uh, actually I explained um, this uh, concept in part number 26 i think once you cross verify that one here i will try to declare something like there is one predefined method something like public overwrite void the name of the method i will give as load view state and here i will try to um, try to maintain the state of this this one which one this control ids i will explain you here you see how to maintain the state control ids is equals to i want to retrieve the view state value view state of variable name my variable name is control ids and view state will store the data in object type but this control ids is of list collection so i have to type cast list of what string here i will try to type cast with this generic collection and here what i want to do and here i will try to write something like this is it clear and again i have to so here i want to read the values that are available within this list collection so i will try to use for each loop something like for each string id in what is the collection name control ids now here again i will try to copy this code something like count plus plus and again i want to create one text box here why i will i will explain you and again i want to add the items to the placeholder now let us see here when i try to debug here you see so here whenever you click on image button then the request is going to the server whenever the request is going to the server each and every time page load will fail we already know the page level events and each and every time when the request is going to the server the state of the previous control is not maintained that is the reason each and every time when you try to create the dynamic control so you have to maintain the state of the control that is the reason we are mentioning this load view state method now here you see here uh, it is not uh, see page load is firing okay all the values are maintaining good now you select the again second image button again this page load will fail because there are nine page level events are there these all nine page level events will fire each and every time when the request is going to where server that is each and every time when the page is loaded again the load view state is firing again it is not executing okay good now here when you click on this button control here you see now again here what is happening let us see here again uh, load view state is firing now here the control id is initially the count is what zero 
now here uh, um, this button one underscore click will fire now now calling the dynamic text box method and the count is uh, incrementing the count is one and text box is creating adding to placeholder control very good now one text box is generated but i want to create how many text boxes five text boxes so how to create these five text boxes just you go to dynamic text box and here what you want to do means here you write the for loop here i will try to write one for loop for int i is equals to 0 i less than equals to 4 i uh, less than or equals to 4 because i want to rotate the loop how many times 5 times so keep this code inside where uh, for loop so how many text boxes will create here uh, 5 text boxes will create let us see here debug check the output now here whenever user clicks on the button it has to generate 5 text boxes so here you see uh, dynamic text box so here i wrote in the for loop initial i is 1 first time one text box is creating and i is 2 second text box is creating i is 3 third text box is creating i is 4 fourth text box is creating is it clear something like uh, i is 0 to 4 means five text box are generated dynamically c number c name but i want to display the text as different for different text boxes so here I want to give unique IDs for all the text boxes. So here I will try to apply simple logic. I will declare one array, string array, string s is equals to new string of new string of something like five. Here or else I will give something like yes uh, sd some name you can give. And here I will try to give some values for this array, something like c number. And here I will try to give comma c name, customer number, customer name. And here I will try to mention what gender comma here i will try to mention what phone number uh, and here i want to mention what is here i declared one array and you know in this array the values are stored in the form of index number sg of 0 means c number sg of 1 means c name so on so here within this what uh, i want to do within this uh, um, so within this text box i want to give the text for all the text boxes as sd sd of 0 sg of what 0 sorry sg of i i will give so what is happening here initial i is 0 so that uh, uh, text for the first text box is sg of 0 that is nothing but c number the loop will rotate second time c name similarly phone number is and uh, all the other things also will be displayed here you see so here whenever the customer will select this button F11. So here you say again load view state is firing. Okay, initial count is zero. Now calling the text boxes. Now creating the text box dynamically. Now SD of zero means what will come? C number. So the text for text box one. Text box one is the text is C number. Similarly, SD of one the text is C name. Similarly, the text is gender. Similarly, the text is uh, phone number. Similarly, the text is text box five. The text is what uh, is is it clear so here you see press f5 i hope you understood c number c name gender phone number and is like that uh, i want to create these rows dynamically based on the number of seats you are selecting if the customer is selecting what seat number one and here you see and seat number two here this is my requirement is now the customer has selected two seat numbers two seats now once when you click on this button it has to display these text boxes in how many rows? Two rows. That is my requirement. I hope you understood, right? So that what we have to do means uh, that scenario we will try to discuss in the next video. For more videos, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel as well as Facebook group. Thank you. Have a nice day.